Hi there guys, it's Chris here with selfmainnewbie.com and in this video I'm going to teach you step by step how to set up a webinar for those of you who don't really trust Zoom anymore. This is my favorite webinar platform uh, that you can get started with and it is called Livestorm. So I'm going to take you through that. So before we do, drop a like, subscribe and turn on that bell if you want to be updated with new videos coming out like this all the time. Also, if you want to click off this video at any moment, do go to the link in the description first next to that green check mark and it will fast forward you to a part of the video that I think one or two of you might find interesting. A nice giveaway for those of you who are looking to start a business online. All right, so let's jump in. So here I am um, on the Livestorm website. So this is what you will see and we'll just kind of go through it as if you know You were going through it on your own. So what you can do is get up set up really quickly um, you just come through to um, This page here and I'll put a link in the description that will if you click that link You'll get the lowest possible price if you decide to upgrade to a premium option. You don't have to um, So you'll come through to here. You can see the ratings that this thing has the companies that it's involved with people who use Livestorm. So it's really like, in my opinion, the best uh, webinar platform, very easy to use. So what you would do is you'd come through here and you just go sign up for free and uh, you can sign up with Google. It takes roughly two seconds. Okay. So then you'd come through to the dashboard and very easy to set up. So you would just have a blank page like this and you can only do one thing, which is set up a new event. So I'm going to set up a test event and you get your link here, but you don't have to worry about the link just yet because you'll be given all the details of the webinar at the end when you set everything up and you publish it. So two main options here, only team members and guests can speak. So if you want that extra level of control or you can just do everybody can speak. So for meetings and then you set up your timing and it will tell you how far away it is. Uh, and then you can add team members. So they'll also need to come through and add a free account. And then you come through, you just add a team member. And as you start typing, you find their username or email and uh, they'll be added to this. And uh, all the automations relating to emailing people and reminding that all, they'll already be put into that process as well. So you go create event. And here you have to put in your event details. So first you're hit with the general, the name, description. Again, you can change your estimated duration language and who you want to be able to talk. So really it'd just be a case of coming down here and, and uh, going through these settings one by one. So, you know, when people sign up to the webinar, cause it's going to create a sign up kind of page or a welcome page. Uh, do you want to collect their emails and their names? You know, what, what, information do you want to collect from the people who are going to sign into your webinar also you can set up a consent like do they adhere to certain rules before they log in so there's a live storm terms and privacy policy you can do your own maybe rules like okay nobody you know talking about certain topics or you know whatever you want and we have advanced settings um, display the event on your company page, only allow registration of people with a certain work or email address. So that's great for security. And then the next one down is the event room. So enable questions, enable chats, enable polls. Um, you can hide um, the people tab for attendees or just show some people. Uh, so you have full control over the privacy and everything like who who's in there, who can other people see, who can talk, who can do whatever, okay? The next one, set up your design. So this is kind of what you can expect as far as the template goes. So you can change your background or whatever. Um, and then we have the emails that you can also set up as well. So this will send out the email um, and you can customize, you know, logos and things like that as well. So we'll check out those pages in a second. So then you can set up your email automations. So notifications, notify team members that are assigned to this event when someone registers or don't. Um, emails for attendees. So when they confirm their registration, there's an email, there's a one hour reminder, a five minute reminder, has attended, hasn't attended. And then you click these buttons on the side here and you can edit all of this information that'll be sent out. Okay, you can also send that. So you don't have to muck about with, you know, sending emails from your autoresponder and trying to connect that to a webinar service. It's all done in here. 
you go to edit content at the top here and you can edit exactly what gets sent out to people what they when they register so you got yourself like a real a little you know straight off the bat they're giving you like a five email funnel okay so if you are selling something in a webinar um, you know this is really great all these reminders are great the next one recording or on demand so are you going to do a pre uh, pre-recorded uh, webinar or are you going to go completely live uh, you can install install different apps so there's an app marketplace here um, you know connecting different uh, platforms Google Analytics Salesforce um, so you can come through here and search for what other apps you want to use and apps that integrate uh, or can integrate into uh, Livestorm. So that's really it. Those are all the settings. And then on the main page, which is where we started, um, you can see, you know, this is, this is your webinar. So right now it's still in the draft stage. So we can just click anywhere and um, we can publish it. So we're going to publish this event now. Okay. So when you confirm the publication, you know, you get your link here, you know, you can send out email invites, you can register people manually, um, but important to save this link just in case you do need to send that out. Uh, but any emails at this point have all been activated. So the emails I showed you before, they're gonna start getting sent out when people register. People are start gonna go into that funnel of all those reminders. And it's really just, I mean, how long is this? If I just look, that took about you know, five minutes to set up. So then it would just be a matter of, you know, tracking that and you do have a calendar over here. So you will be notified when it is. And then it would just be a matter of, you know, going into that event, joining the room, copying the room link, sending it to other people to remind them if you have to. And you know, you're all ready to go. Okay, so this is my new favorite platform for running webinars. Um, Zoom, you know, I don't want to use Zoom. A little bit too much controversy and privacy issues around them. This is something that's clean. And my favorite thing is really that email integration that I don't have to set up all those reminder emails. You know, once I set this up, everything is locked, loaded, and ready to go. Now, if you want to check out Livestorm, do go via the link in the description there. If you do go via that link, I have a special giveaway. You can get 50% off my program silver spoon which is teaching people how to make money online in the area of content and affiliate marketing uh, so i will send that out to you also if you click that link um, it is integrated uh, with any discounts that are happening with livestorm so if you do click that link and go through or any discounts any offers um, that are available will be activated so you are going to get the lowest price if you do decide to upgrade so do go through that link and uh, if you have any further questions comments do drop them below. I do reply to anybody. And if not, I'll see you on the next video. Take care.